still officially cleared and there will be no asterisk next to my performances anymore. Uh, I think I know what you're getting at with that, but for people who are maybe uneducated, can you elaborate? Yeah, so uh, USADA has changed some of the rules um, regarding picogram levels and, and what's allowed. And um, I've come to find out that all my, all my findings were under the new legal limit meaning that I would have been cleared from every uh, test I've ever taken. And, um, and that means a lot to me. Um, I'm grateful to be the athlete who fought the system, who could afford the lawyers and the scientists to prove my innocence. I do believe that I, I, I don't know if it's the word carry the cross or like took the bullet for the rest of all the young athletes, but I was the first to have to go through it. And uh, people considered me a cheater. And um, now, if, if that same rule uh, would have applied back then, uh, it would have never even made the media. It would have never been a deal at all. I, my win over Daniel Cormier would not be a no contest. It would be a knockout, KO, victory. Um, so I'm hoping that with these rule changes, maybe we could go back and make that no contest a win. That would mean a lot to me. I have no ill will towards USADA or or anything like that. It was just something that we needed to go through. I was, I was the first one and one of the biggest names to go through it. And uh, I'm glad I did because some of these younger fighters wouldn't have been able to survive something like that. They would have just been cut or, or not been able to afford the lawyers or whatever. Um, so I took the bullet for this sport, for Major League Baseball, and uh, I'm glad that, that fighters in the future get to avoid what I went through. It was, it was hell being considered a steroid cheat. And uh, I'm glad that, that people can see clearly now that I never was. And um, I feel set free.